Hey guys, it's Art Squirrel here. Welcome back to another video. And today I'm going to be showing you guys all of my Undertale customs, starting off with Ink because he is the first one that I'm showing to you. I made all the customs recently because I was inspired not too long ago by another YouTuber. I forgot their name, but if I remember it, I'll put it in the description. But they inspired me to make my own Undertale customs, and so I did. But I never saw a ink custom before, so I decided to make him because he was pretty cool, and I really wanted to see how he would turn out, so I did that. And basically, this is what he looks like. I made his clothes with air dry clay, and I painted him with acrylic paint, and I sealed the acrylic paint with Mod Podge, if that's what it's called. But as you can see, I added his color sash with a couple of pencils on it. I painted on the bottom part of his leggings. I did not add his shoes just because I thought, well, the feet are so close together, I wasn't sure if it was really going to work out, so I didn't do that. But here's the bottom of him. And yeah, so that's... Next we have Undyne, the fish warrior. So I gave her some clay hair and the rest of her clothes are just painted on. I did not put her armor on, this is just her regular outfit and she's wearing her eye patch too. And I also made her frown mouth thing, whatever it's called. I'm just gonna call it an upside down grin because I don't know the actual term for it. But yeah, I added some sort of gill-like things on her ears so that she looked more like the actual character. And I added her boots as well. I didn't give her a tail because she is wearing jeans and I wasn't really sure if I should or shouldn't so I just went without a tail. And this is what her bottom looks like. Next, we have the ever-so-fragile Metaton, because his first shoulder plates that I made for him broke, so I had to make a second one, and they broke while in the process of drying, because his air dry clay. And, yeah, I usually just keep him on my shelf, because he's fragile, and I don't really want to move him around. But I really did want to reroute his hair, but I didn't have any of the rerouting tools, and I noticed that with the older ponies, you can't take their heads off because they're just so, like, well-made when Hasbro first started making the Generation 4. And I watched one of Manda Panda's videos once on how to do a My Little Pony custom, and I think it was with a Apple Bloom. She could not get the head off because it was one of the older ponies, and she ended up pulling the head off with the neck plug. So she couldn't really- she had to use the X-Acto knife on the head, and it wasn't really- the easiest way to get it off. So I decided to leave the head on because I did try to get it off and the neck started breaking. So yeah, he can almost do a 360 with his head but his hair kind of blocks like once you get to here it kind of just stops moving. But he can turn his head pretty freely and I added a microphone for his cutie mark. Forgot to tell you this, but I also added a spear for Undyne's cutie mark. But yeah, and the rarity that I used for Metaton, the horn was sort of broken or something. I don't know if it was chewed off or what. You can see there was a little mark there, and also her eyelashes were kind of coming off and her eye just wasn't really doing so good. So I decided to reuse the pony and turn it into a Metaton, which I think looks pretty good. You guys can let me know what you think of my customs down in the comment section, but next we have Paper Jam, and I absolutely love how he turned out. And I did his star eye, and his head is floating off like the actual character. I used wires to do that, and I also added some extra paint splashes on him to give him a little bit more detail. I added the paint on his scarf as well, and his hoodie is on that fades to black, and he also has his shorts on as well. And this is all air dry clay, including I added a little bit on the top of his head just to make it smooth and cover up the extra little hairs because I couldn't get them all off. But I do notice that when I use the air dry clay it shrinks, so there is a bit of a gap between his sleeve and the scarf, which I'm a bit disappointed about. But other than that, he looks pretty great, and I'm sorry if you can't see him very well. The lighting isn't really that great, but he's kind of a darker pony, so it makes it harder for him to, for you to see him. 
but I'm really proud of this one. I think he turned out really well, and as far as I know, this is the only custom of Paper Jam that has been posted on the internet. I'm not really completely sure, but yeah, that's Paper Jam. Next, we're moving on to the work in progress customs, as I like to call them. Here is a papyrus that I'm making, and I'm not sure if I should take off the horn or just leave it, because the skeletons do have magic, so I might just leave it on. But so far he's turning out okay, and I'm not so sure if... I kind of would, would have liked his battle body shoulder things to be higher, but it's just kind of the way the air dry clay turned out. And sometimes when you're working with air dry clay, it's hard. You have to get it all done at one time, because if not, if you add on more clay, it won't stick to the already dry clay. So when you're making the outfit for your pony, you gotta kind of make it all at the same time. And if you ever do use air dry clay, never get your pony wet, because the air dry clay, well, I think water would reactivate it, because whenever I wash my hands when I'm done using the air dry clay, all the hard particles from the clay that were on my hands get all like wet again, so I think that... I mean, I guess you could sort of use it as a hack if you can't do like the whole air dry clay outfit at one time and then you could use water to kind of get it wet to help the new clay stick to the old clay, I don't really know. But yeah, point is, never get any of your air dry clay customs wet. But this is Papyrus, all I really have to do is finish painting him, I think, and then he'll be done. Next we have Frisk, right now I'm just working on a light base coat for her body, and then I'm gonna start adding the details and the hair and whatnot. Some shrinky dinks to make a tiny determination heart for a necklace for Frisk. Here it is, but honestly, when I first made it, I never actually expected it to be a necklace for the pony, but it actually works really well. Like for the size. I think it would go really well. But that's pretty much it for Frisk. I'm just gonna add some air dry clay for the hair and whatnot and finish the base coat so that she actually has a solid color and do the eyes too. And last but not least I have two ponies that were just kind of lying around that I was going to use to make something and then I just never did so I'm gonna use these guys to make some Undertale customs now. And I'm thinking about making fresh and air. What do you guys think? You guys can leave comments and suggestions in the comments section about what you want me to make with these last two customs that I have. Or customizable ponies that I have, I guess. But yeah, and if you guys are wondering about my OC and if I'm ever going to make my OC, well, if you guys had watched some of my older videos, this was originally going to be for my OC, but since she's an alicorn, I managed to find an older Twilight Sparkle that had the hair, like, almost all the way cut off, so I'm going to reuse her for my pony, so I can use this one for another custom. Well, that's the end of the video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you like these customs, and if you want to see me make more customs, leave a like down below. And don't forget to leave ideas of what you guys want me to make with those extra two ponies that I have for customs. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!